Good morning, good morning. Good morning. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday, guys. Let me turn this off because y'all know I can just keep going. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, y'all. And it, I feel so weird not saying we're on day whatever because <laughs> I think if I'm right, like I went back on my YouTube like today one like six months ago, y'all. I can't believe it <laughs> took like six months to get through 100 days. Anyways, it's fine. It's fine. But I did it for so long. I just want to be like, we're on day this, and we are in this. But today is a brand new day. And y'all, I didn't even realize that we ended on the last day of March. Wasn't even really processing all of that. And that we're starting something new on the first day of a brand new month, right? Today is April the 1st. April. Guys, we are, we are just getting through this year. It's just... I don't know about you, but I feel like the older I get, the faster time just flies by, and um, and there is work to be done, amen, there, I, and I'm talking about, like, ministry, there is souls to be saved, there is, there is Jesus to be spread around to as many people as we can, and um, I just, I just get that, that urgency, that sense of urgency of learning, and, and digging in God's Word, and knowing Him, and and wanting to to share that with others so much because time is slipping away from us, right? <laughs> Don't you have to just feel that sometimes? So anyways, anyways, happy Thursday. And I am actually reading a devotion out of my Bible this morning. And it's when Jesus doesn't look like the Savior you wanted. And I've, I believe I've read this and done this before, like, like probably two years ago. Um, so anyways, I just, it's so good and I wanted to share it again. And my Bible has lots of devotions in it. And I know I'm gonna get this question because I always do, but I have the, you really can't see it, but I have the Encourage Devotional Bible. Um, I actually ordered it off of Amazon like, I guess two years ago now. Um, but it's got a lot of devotions just tucked all the way through it. Um, yeah, I got it actually in 2019, in February of 2019. So anyway, the Encourage Devotional Bible is just, I have just come to love this Bible. So anyways, when Jesus doesn't look like the Savior you wanted, if you're watching me live, give me hashtag one. If you're watching the replay, give me hashtag two. And I'm going to go ahead and dive in here. And it's off of Mark chapter 15, the entire chapter. I'm not going to read it, the entire chapter. I want you to read the entire chapter. Um, Mark of Mark 15. But this is what the writer here says. She says, it took a mere five days for an entire city to turn. Now, if you don't know what chapter 15 is about, it's when Jesus faces Pilate and they choose Barabbas. Remember, they're like, well, do you want me to release Jesus or Barabbas? And they're like, give us Barabbas. All right, so listen. On a Sunday, they waved palms, sang praises, and danced with the words Hosanna. Remember, we just had Palm Sunday. I don't know if y'all saw the little video that I, that I posted on here from our children's church. And, um, and they were waving the palm branches and it was just a wonderful day, right? It was just so, so cute um, watching them do that. But anyway, it says, and they danced with the words Hosanna upon their lips. Then on Friday, so that was Sunday, right? And then on Friday, they cried out, crucify him. Five days, five days. Why the fast change to their tune? My pastor says it like this. Jesus isn't always the Savior we want, but he is always the Savior we need. Whew. Let's just think about that a second. The people expected Jesus, the miracle worker, and heir to the throne of David to ride up to the palace overturned the Roman um, occupation and returned the nation of Israel to its former glory. They wanted the king of the Jews to change their circumstances. 
How many times we want that so badly, right? They didn't want the suffering servant. They didn't want the suffering servant. They didn't understand that death precedes restoration. <laughs> Let me underline that for a second. They didn't understand that death precedes restoration. Man, they didn't see the far grander work Jesus came to do or the far greater need of their own souls. The people indicated exactly what kind of savior they wanted when they chose Barabbas, the murdering rebel leader, to be freed over Jesus. I'd like to think that if I had lived in Jerusalem at that time, I wouldn't be counted among the people crying out to crucify him. But I've faced hard times before. I've prayed grand prayers of faith. And when God didn't swoop in like I wanted him to, I was wounded and angry and ready to toss out the entirety of my faith. Have you been there? Ooh. I think we've all been there at some point, right? When things didn't go the way we wanted them to go, man, we was ready to hang it up. Man, this ain't for me. It didn't go my way, right? I prayed and God did nothing. We say things like that, right? In those times, I was exasperated that I couldn't make Jesus into the kind of savior I wanted him to be. I wanted my own Barabbas someone to end my oppression, and I couldn't see the far grander work being accomplished through my pain. I couldn't see it. Jesus isn't always the Savior we want, but he's always the Savior we need. Always. Jesus didn't come to display his power. Instead of an, instead of an earthly throne, he took up a cross and a crown of thorns. His glory was displayed in that he was first mocked and beaten. He suffered how he suffered first. His demonstration of power was in his humility. He humbled himself even to the death on the cross, Philippians 2.8 tells us. He is the Lamb of God, our spotless and broken sacrifice. That long ago week started with high expectations, then later dashed it, dashed. It continued with a gruesome Friday, nailed to a cross were the ruined hopes of a people, a mocking sign that signified what the people dared to hope read the king of the Jews. It's only with the perspective of Easter Sunday that we can understand the suffering of Good Friday. Jesus didn't come to only be king of the Jews. No, he is the king of kings. Amen. He's the king of kings. He came to save mankind and he came to save you. Jesus isn't always the savior we want, but he is always the savior we need. I love, I love this so much because man, it kind of, it busts our bubble. It does do that. It, it kind of just puts our, our thoughts and our things of how we view, how we think things should be happening, right? These people, they didn't see it. They didn't understand why he wasn't just swooping in and saving the day right then, right? But he had to, he had to be crucified. He had to die on a cross, for all the other to happen, he had to. He had to, he had to conquer death, hell, and the grave. He had to conquer all those things. And he did. Man, he went down and he took the keys back and he has authority. Ooh, and, and then that Holy Spirit now lives in all of us. So man, when we are, when we are in a tough situation, and we're looking, are we not understanding why God is not just swooping in and doing exactly what we want him to do? It's all in his perfect timing. There is always, what did it say? Man, the, the darkness before that light, there's, there's, it comes to that, 
that threshold, that point of just that breakthrough, right? That pushing over the edge and then there he is. He's always on time. He's never early and never late. Have you always heard that? Because <laughs> it's true. It's true. Never too early, never, never late. He's always right on time. He, he always will show up right when it needs to be happening. But it may not look the way you want it to look. It may not be just how you have it pictured in your mind to be and how, how you have it mapped out. Okay, God, I'm praying for this and this is how it's going to be. And you're going to show up here and this is what's going to happen. And, da, 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 and we have this all planned out in our head. And then when it doesn't happen, we get angry and upset. Oh, I'm done. Right? We throw our hands up and we get aggravated. Man, God's just saying, just hang on. Just hang on. I'm working my plan. We have to remember that his ways are higher than our ways, right? His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. That's what the Bible tells us. That man, he's doing something so great in our day and in us that we can't wrap our minds around it. His plans for our life are things that we can't even fathom. We have to just trust him through the good, the bad, the ugly. We have to trust him through it all because he's God and we are not. He's the creator. He created us, right? Man, he's so good to us. He's so good to us. Jesus isn't always the savior we want, but he is always the savior we need. Praise God for that. Praise God for that. He is always what we need. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Remember that he, he is the Savior that you need. It may not be packaged in the way that you think it should be packaged. It may not look like, it, like you have it in your mind, but it is exactly what you need in your life. Y'all have a wonderful Thursday. Be blessed, and I will see y'all tomorrow morning on the EMJ Daily. Bye, guys.